Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so all the jokes, is it all the writing or is there kind of collaboration from yourselves and the other actors on, on some of those things? We did get on awfully well, but I think that's partly the writing. You know you're interesting. It's, good. Yes, but it's, it's, it's all the writing, really, I think. You know. The thing, the thing about John Sullivan, he was, he, was quite, um, he was quite clever, really, because because I think a lot of people came up with sort of funny stories they'd heard or characters they'd met or jokes. Because he loved jokes. He used to send text to us jokes, some of them quite rude, I'd say, the latest one he'd heard. <coughs> and um, he was an Arsenal supporter as well. And he was, yeah. That's a bit of a joke. Anyway, um, <laughs> but uh, I, I don't remember anybody uh, sort of coming up with a new one. But what he, what he would do, where he was clever, was he'd listen to the story and reject it immediately. So, so no, it's, it's not funny. But later on, there'd be just the kernel of, of an idea that he'd pick up from somebody. And, and, and then he knitted into this little story. It might just be a story about a, a tape recorder or, or something like that. But he was, he was very good at that. Because uh, particularly the green, green grass, when I was down there, completely f fish out of water as Boise was, you know, for, from London. An awful lot of strange things happened, and I, I, I remember telling a lot of stories. <coughs> and, um, and none of them went into the show, really, um, in, in their entirety. But there'd be something you'd say, oh, wait a minute, I recognise that story. You know, about, uh, you know, I got put off the road by a tractor, for instance, and, uh, and the story was the guy turned right straight in front of me without indicating. You know, and I put two wheels in a ditch to avoid it. You know, I said, "What the hell do you think you're doing?" He said, "You're not from round here, are you?" I said, "But what's that got to do with it?" He said, well, "I knew you wasn't from round here because if you had been, you'd know I always turn right there on a Thursday." <laughs> that sort of sort of country story, and he just pick up some of that or a word or something and incorporate it into a. And I, I think he did. He was on. He was on the eerie, as they say, that the whole time listening. And he'd listen in the pub and everything, wouldn't it? It was brilliant. And obviously, he, he wrote every single episode of the Fool's Night. Every, every single one. one. <coughs> and Rock and Chips was him as well. Yeah, that one was yeah. him. And he, was, he obviously was developing the musical before he passed away. Yeah, I and mean, he, was a, he, was, he was a busy boy. He was the fact, like, he was the, the, the all-CNI all of... Yeah, and he wrote yeah. Smith, he wrote Dear Johnny. Oh, yeah. I mean, he wrote a lot of stuff. But Only Fools is the one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And there's... there's there's something about it that obviously dear John was good is there Citizen Smith I didn't realise was him but yeah is it, there's just a certain something I don't know whether it's that Citizen Smith was his first series he, he, he did three series and then Bob Lindsay decided he didn't want to do anymore and it really upset John he was upset because he'd given Bob this big break he was upset because he had young kids he had to keep he had a mortgage and he thought, what the hell am I going to do? And that's when he thought of only fools and horses. So thank you, Bob Lindsay, for not wanting to carry on with Citizen Smith. Didn't want to keep the red flag flying no more. <laughs> no, he didn't. And on that bombshell, I think we're going to wrap it up there. Guys, you've been absolutely incredible. And you guys, thanks for staying with us. Please give it up. And you guys are going to be here all weekend signing. So if you want to go and get photos, get autographs, please do go down now. I'll be here next with Jason David Frank from Power Rangers. Yes. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thanks for listening to us. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot.